painting with Dr. Philip. Guest starring Dr. Christina and Dr. Juan. You could be white or black, but I mean, or any color you want, honestly. Um, so, you want to get it nice and liquidy? Nice and wet? Liquidy. More, the better. Just because that's what you're going to use to stretch. But I need you to paint it while I mix up stuff. So start with that. Let me get a little bit more white. So I'm just spreading this. Yeah, just spread it all over the corners. Get it, yeah, corners and uh, all the top. And you want it to be, yeah, perfect. Okay, now the next question. Out of all of these, oh, well, it's still got some leaves in it. But that's the secret. Uh, Do I go on the sides? Yep, get the sides. Because you're, you're gonna, one of your goals is when you pour it, you're gonna want it to flow over the sides. Okay. Okay, I'll give you some problems. Now, where where did you learn this? Um. I got a gnat from it from when I just witnessed and then I looked up on YouTube University <laughs> and Am I done with the brush? Are you done with uh, getting it as good as you want it to be? It's Thanks okay, so okay. I tried to. So the concoction is going to be um, paint plus glue plus glue plus water. And then what you do as you see here in a momento. Literally. Literally. Yeah. yeah. So we are heterosexuals. Heterosexuals need lube too. Exactly. Yes. Everybody needs lube. <laughs> We're making what did you call it? Shades of blue? Fifty Shades of Blue. Fifty Shades of Blue. Your office. Gentle waves. Oh, gentle waves. Gentle waves. Oh, gentle waves. Okay. Fifty Shades of Blue. <laughs> yeah. This is my life. What? I would call my counseling practice Fifty Shades of Blue. Yeah. <laughs> you could be a sex therapist. I I will be one day. One Doc, day. um, will you grab that big thing of glue, please? Glue all. Not just, it's glue all. Glue all. So not just regular Elmer's. Not regular school glue because that um, runs. Is this kind of like um, like Mod Podge or no? It's so, so, okay, there's a thing called gesso, but the glue itself is what helps make it stick, but you use it to your advantage, so you'll see how in a minute. You should keep it light. You don't need any black. Do you want any black? No. Okay. All right. So now, you the technical ratio is like three to one. Three glue to one mm -hmm. paint. paint. And then, but I just guesstimate it until I get it because I make masterpieces. And uh, you want it to be like pancake batter. Now mind you, see it's gonna be a lot. I tried to go light on the paint and then but, the, yeah, these but you'll see what I mean here in a minute. And then um you get water. You want it to be like pancake consistency when you stir it. Do you stir with the brush or something else? No, I, I buy um craft stick like oh, popsicle sticks. Yeah. But the problem is I think I I'm running out. So I'm gonna use spoons. <laughs> Alright. Would you like me to get some spoons? Um I'll put that back for more. Only three? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So 
now. Yeah, yeah. Why, oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You haven't added the lube yet. Oh, excuse me? Lube. I had, no, the lube comes, because if you stir it more, then you have less, like, you, I'll show you the trick to that. Start that at the end and then do a couple of stirs. Yeah. I'm sorry. And then, like I said, you want it to come out, make sure you get them sides. And then, you want it to be like pancake syrup in the sense that it's not liquidy, but... Pancake syrup or pancake batter? Pancake batter, batter my bad. bad. Okay. Because we can always adjust like more or less because sometimes you need the, the glue to make it a little bit more thicker. Sorry. So this is the most time consuming process because you'll see what I mean by when you get it ready and set to go. It's very quick. And if it's too, too heavy, let me know because we don't want it to sink. But it really don't matter. This is the fun of it. Um, all right. You want a little more cups? Right? No. What are you scared? I'm gonna show all that is on top of it. You're gonna use all the cups in the house. I hope you got that eye roll on camera. No, are because you? those are just for paints. I don't like to mix them. He doesn't want to drink. He doesn't like a acrylic cup that has lube in it. Acrylic paint and lube. Okay, so this is the trick of the lube. And it's 100% silicone, so that's why. They're 100% uh, gay. Or heterogeneous, depending on where you come from. And you, you stir it a couple of times. You don't like make it too, too stirry, but this is where you'll see crazy stuff come out when you like those bubbles and cracks. Okay, now. So, so you just put lube in the cup? Yeah, and no. like, uh, get the edges because it helps keep it, like, it helps release. When you so see it doesn't stick. Yeah. Besides, what's a painting for Christina? Or excuse me, Dr. McGrath Fair without pink. All right. Think about the colors that you want in the sense. Do you want light blue to dark blue? Do you, or however you want to do it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to layer this. And then you're going to do like blue, a little bit of white. Next blue, a little bit of white. Purple, a little bit of white. So do I pour like the whole cup? No. Just a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Pour it in there, just going to make like a rainbow layer. And I just keep going around. Mm-hmm. Because you'll probably get to the point where that cup's completely filled. And then we'll see what we do next. And then don't forget to do a little bit of white to contrast. And what I do sometimes is go straight down the side because it'll um, just mm, blend in. Okay. Yeah. That's where it gets interesting. So just make it happen. And see, when you pour it in the middle, sometimes it'll just sink right down. So, what you'll, so if you pour it against the yeah, edge. Yeah, if you it. pour it against the edge, then you'll... But this is where it gets stuff where it's white. And then, like, we do it. <gasps> do like this. Okay. Get that on video. Good. A nice save. And you move the glass very gently because... You don't want it to like mix Actually, while yes. it's in the glass, yeah. Oh, you have to do white. No, you don't, because there's still some in there. Because the colors will blend as well. You'll see in a minute. Yeah, it's, oh, so I don't use the spoons. But I ran out of stuff. I feel like I wouldn't use glasses. I would use plastic cups. Oh, I did, but we try to be so green. Slippy. Yeah. We can reuse plastic cups, right? Mm-hmm. That's good. Let your pour quite a lot, and we'll see what happens to blend in. I'm seeing it's already bubbling up too. See that? Oh, that's cool. Should I keep going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be enough. Well, use what we have. Just use more of that metallic and that pink, and then purple. Because yeah, you're gonna want to have more than less. Because what you don't want it to do, like some of mine, if I have too little, then the canvas starts popping back up. And it could just come out as a nasty thing, so we never know. That's the beauty of the pour painting. Are you saying mine's going to come out nasty? No, just for a warning. You never know. I think that should be enough. It's going to be 
A lot. Okay. So now you're gonna watch. What is that? This is the heat gun that will help dry, but also activate like, some of the silicone. So it's a heat gun. It's a heat gun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now you literally just take that glass. There's multiple ways to do this, but if you like it like that way that you can kind of see the different designs, you can just slowly pour it like in a big puddle or in a design, however. Because the other way is just to flip the cup over and then let it just and then pull the cup off. But it's up to you how you want to do it. It don't matter. Like it's all going to come out. So, how do I do it like those ones that you can kind of see the bubbles slowly pour it? Yeah, slowly pour it in the center and then just let it go how it's going to go. This. Yep. Custer. Yep. That was pretty good. Get them corners. Sketch. Alright, now here's where you're about to get messy. Can I grab it from here? Oh, yeah, I guess you could do that. So you're going to pick this up and then slowly, because it's not like secure, just slowly tilt it in all directions and you want it to slide off and cover the edges like a waterfall. So they like up and then down now and then make it what you feel is... I like those colors. Yeah. They're and then pretty. this is where you're going to get the bubbles to pop out. Ooh, girl. In this corner and that corner. And you can also, if you like what you have, then you can take it, set it still, and then you can use your finger to get those corners pasted up. Yeah. But you can stretch it as much as you'd like. I kind of bisexual flag. Okay, so now what I would do, do you like that or do you want to keep stretching it? No, I like it. So, okay, so, touch so, the so take your fingers and then just touch the corners with the paint and then just kind of stick it, yep, and then it'll and kind of too. flow over. And you can even flow it with your fingers to like, to get it over. You see, now that's the matter. Raising it. So, how long do you think it can be? It is man, but you don't want to squirt it because that can happen. And you don't want to dry it too fast because that can happen too, where then it'll just like shovel up on you. This is what I mean by if you don't stretch it enough, you can kind of see the canvas sticking out. So, I mean, it's it's okay, same thing in here. But um, this is very thick. Like it's very, like you can still see where it's watery. So uh, that's why I say like thicker the better. But so if you wanted it more celly, like with the cells, then you put, you know, more heat a little bit in different areas. It'll organically spread out as it cures. But that, is that kind of the cells that you're looking in the bubbles? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. It's not be this this also either. gets rid of air bubbles, so that's the other reason why I'm looking. I see some like air bubbles, but it doesn't get rid of them all. <laughs> that's the problem. This is poor painting. Ta -da. Thank you, Dr. Phil.